Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, real quick, this is uh, going to be put out Monday morning, so I'll probably be at work by the time this pops out. I'm working on it today, Sunday, after the release of the airship, which was a really fun thing to make. So this video is just going to cover it real quick. <laughs> this sucker is massive. <laughs> it's 528 parts. Yikes. Whatever it carries is going to have to be very low part count for sure. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go through here. We're going to put some lights on it real quick. Maybe slap a flag on the side and then make a quick vehicle or two to put in there and see how we can secure them or whatever the case may be. I really like this. It's almost like vents, but I think I'll put lights up here instead. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> Some lights up here. Something snazzy. Okay, so a big airship needs big bright lights that shine all over the place when it's landing. Right? That's how, that's how it's done. Okay, we now we got these long light strips which we can use here. Right? Right? Right. <laughs> what the hell's the problem? Okay. Hmm, interesting. I don't feel like messing with the whole move tool, so I'm just gonna kind of cheat, put them on the side like that. This is like the Mark 1. It's not exactly the prototype phase, but it's still the Mark 1, so if I ever get around to making a Mark 2, it'll definitely look much better. Oh yeah, shoot, we might not even need that many. Damn, I think we might have too many. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. Oh my, yeah, that's... Might be a little too much. Um... Why don't we turn these off? Um, that, that's good. Take the middle ones off. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Of course, this being a big beast, we have to do our little green and red indicator thingamajigs. Shoot. What was what again? Wasn't red right and green left? Hold on, let me look that up. Okay, so red left and then green right. Gotcha. And the reason why I'm not using symmetry is because I'm seeing whether or not that will affect the problem of it being loaded up into the game world and losing its color every single time without fail. You set a color and it just disappears. So this is somewhat out of desperation. Hmm. I don't like the fact that it shines back onto the craft. Let's see if we can't mosey on out a little bit. I'm going for 10 degrees on this uh, deploy angle. Because I know that 5 degrees is great for stability, but when it comes to thrust, maybe digging into the atmosphere might be a little better. We'll see. Now the reason why this, this tail back here is down so low is because of the uh, center of mass and center of lift. At least the center of mass is in front of the center of lift, even though the center of lift is kind of to the extreme angle. But then again, this whole thing is pretty much wings, so it kind of it kind of gives you a really bad... Uh, pull in different directions. So the fact that the center of mass is in front, I believe, helps with the craft, overall craft uh, handling. I could be wrong, but it's a possibility. So what I'll do for now is I'll remove these advanced inline stabilizers so that there's zero reaction wheels in this entire thing for now. We'll give it a quick test just to see if I need some or not. And if not, you know, well, that as they say is that. All right, let's do this. Okay, SAS on. Let's turn on the rotors. We're going to need to upgrade its power as well. It doesn't have that much power or capability of regenerating power all that much. And lift off. I'm so glad I figured out the 5 degree secret. That 15 degree was killing me, man. <laughs> Look at it just slowly lift off like it's supposed to. Alright, let's engage uh, thrust. There she goes. And there we go. So much nicer. So these huge airships... Um, a lot of them were nuclear powered or something like that in the game that I was playing or the movie I was watching and they could stay in the air for days. They were ships. They were ships of the sky. They weren't little tiny helicopters or, you know, Boeing 747s that, you know, could only stay up for 12 hours or whatever unless you need refueling. These were literal ships that could stay for days in the sky because they had a very large power power source and they were all bladed that it wasn't like a jet engine where you had to use fuel so being that you'd be days in the sky before you landed somewhere or whatever because a lot of times you would either like if you were a battleship you're patrolling a certain area of the sky you would need um redundancy right just in case one failed the other one could pick up the slack until you have it repaired. Or if you were a battleship, you had a couple of these, right? So if a couple of them went down, the other ones could keep it up, keep the ship aloft. 
So basically you'd have, let's say the ship only needed four engines. So normally you would double that. You'd have eight engines. Redundancy, baby, redundancy. Now it's not very fast. And this is because this is the Mark I. I was thinking of maybe putting like a whole bunch of these blades behind each other. Maybe, uh, you know, something of that nature. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's try turning. Let's see if we die. Well, I mean, we got to take care of the yaw problem, but other than that, it looks really nice. Let's try at night real quick. Man, I really wish, I really wish, I, I know they're never going to freaking fix it, but I really wish they would just allow the Kerbal to walk on a solid surface regardless of speed and altitude. Give me a break. Oh well, that would have been fun if it worked. Sorry everyone. Andrew Russ, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the fold. Oh no, what did I join? Space Cult. All right, so that was fun. It's really nice. And, you know, I, I love the fact that it's a slow behemoth, but we need, we need to make another one. A little more sexier in design, maybe. More thrust, better power, since we've already almost half through the power. We haven't even gotten anywhere. So obviously that's gonna have to be an issue to be resolved. But let's do something real quick. I should put locks on the stupid thing. So when the vehicle gets up there, we can have the ability to sort of lock it in place. All right, this is going to have to kind of tuition here. Going to have to figure out where a vehicle might possibly be stored. Where's the center of mass on this thing? Right there, huh? Okay. I was thinking about putting gears on this thing, but it is 232, was 230 some odd tons. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, let's go ahead and um, take this, uh, unlock it. All right, now let's go ahead and go into Space Center and grab us a truck. That kind of looks kind of ominous, doesn't it? Just sitting there waiting for us. Brakes really aren't that responsive, but then again, it's probably because of the fact that I'm rocking about 700 parts on the computer screen right now. So everything's in slow-mo. Hmm, those propellers are definitely a problem, huh? Maybe I should have this thing load up from the front. Let's go, let's go. Ah, she's too heavy. Go, 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 go. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. All right, and then we're gonna bring down gravity to like nothing. You just float right up in there. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna bring the gravity back down. Easy. All right. And reset. Okay, it's in there. <laughs> it's too bad I had to cheat my ass off, but hey, it's in there. Okay, so it's a little on the wrong side of where I, where I, whoa, where I want it. But it, it's nice, it fits in there real nicely. Try to keep it somewhat in the middle here. Okay, and somewhat right there in the middle. So it's got a bunch of stuff on it right now, like a, a, a load of crap. That'll just be part of the test. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, that's, that's good. Yeah, right about there. Yeah, we don't want to bring the Kraken in here and destroy everything. So I'm being very cautious. It's kind of sad that KSP 1.12 will be it, and they might put out 1.12.1 or something of that nature. But I am not going to be surprised if there is no stock clouds and you still need um, mods to fix that. I will not be surprised if your craft explodes on the runway. I will not be su ex uh, surprised if they leave out simple things. That's kind of been the running joke of the KSP 
series. So, but you know, when KSP two comes out, I hope they fixed all that and it'd be a much smoother, nicer game. And we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, well, well, <laughs> damn. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Please remember to like and share. Those two things right there are huge benefactors to this channel. Huge benefactors to like and share. Just share the video. So take care, everybody. Oh, ah, man, I'm tired as hell. So take care, everybody. I am Veo signing off. So everybody, wow, I am like totally tongue-tied right now. Tongue-tied? Tongue-tied. All right, everyone, take care, see you later, love you all, and have a good day. Oh, she's my dear, my darling one, her eyes are full, so full of fun. I love the ground she walks upon, my little girl, girl. <laughs>